you have 15 minutes with them and sure. you can start whenever you're ready. All right. How are we doing guys? Good. 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 What time, what time did your day start? 8 a.m. California time. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. for a while ago, yeah, four hours ago. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Very good. Well, congratulations on the movie. I just watched it this morning. Uh, wow. It is such a gift. Um, it's uplifting and motivational and just full of love. And um, But I was texting Tyler uh, through the whole thing and told him that you guys owe me probably about $103. I'm thinking about $3 for three boxes of tissues and $100 for my virtual therapist visit that I had to have. <laughs> but it was really just amazing and wonderful. And so I'm thinking that you guys produced the film in response to the 2016 presidential election. Does that sound right? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, uh, oh, just yeah, backtracking, the, the tour was created in response to the election. And yep. then I, I learned of the of the story of the tour, and then we made the film about the tour. So the tour came first, and yeah, yeah then okay. the film followed. Yeah. So what did? So I'm I'm also thinking from what I was from what I was um, listening to and hearing is that I think the mission was originally to expand the minds of the audience that you guys were going to visit in these southern states. Yeah, at the at the same time as you know, we just literally knew that uh, things were going to get worse. And we had lived in this incredible moment of Obama where things were just getting better with little, you know, gurgles up of nastiness. And we knew immediately that those things were going to be empowered, which they have been um, the, the right wing that they're going to, they've been given permission to act out. We didn't know how bad, but we knew that, the LGBTQ community was suffering across the South. We did not go to save them. We did not go to even preach at them at all. We right. went out of a heart of, we are so fortunate and we want to share that. We want to share that experience with you, what it's like. And um, little did we know that, you know, halls were going to be packed and churches packed. Little did we know. And yeah, yeah and that was a bit of a serendipity. Just lovely. So now what do you feel like each one of you learned or what do you think you took away from this ind individually? Well, um, I took away, well, well, uh, uh, my joke is I haven't unpacked it yet. <laughs> every, every time Tim and I talk, I think I unpack a little bit more, but um, like you, I need a therapist to fully un unpack the trip. But it was, so much love and the, the the passage of a torch in a way everywhere we went we, we um it's still reverberating yeah i would guess Maybe. yeah yeah i think that um you know i think i think the true profound learnings you know affected our spirit and dna to a point that it's almost hard to put into words you know to be honest but if there is one lesson to to kind of share that that that, that became clear, um, and, and and it really became clear after releasing the film, you know, um, that we learned is that, you know, the San Francisco chorus, the Oakland choir, and ourselves as the film team making the film, we all had the kind of joint objective of having our message heard, right? And what we really learned though is that the best way to to be heard is actually to listen. So when we sat down and we listened to the people in the South, um, they, you know, in response, opened themselves up to the music and, and to the message of the film. Timothy? Yeah. Oh, well, uh, wow. Uh, there's so much, um, so much that happened in my own heart and life throughout that whole thing. I'll, I'll speak on behalf of the, the chorus and um, I described this as uh, we were on, we were on choir tour. Uh, we, we hit Jackson, Mississippi. Most of the people in there had been on choir tour. We got to Jackson, Mississippi. We sang in churches on that Sunday morning. We went to the Capitol. We sang. We had to go get our dress rehearsal. We went to a packed house. And then on Monday, we went and sat in Selma at the Brown Chapel. Yeah. And that was the moment that we were no longer on choir tour. There was no audience. We were sitting in a place where a revolution was born. 
and we were profoundly moved, which uh, some of it, I mean, you can only show 300 people crying for so long. <laughs> that was, and then we went to the to Edmund Pettus Bridge, and I think it soaked in to everyone that we were a part of a movement, and, and it, an important part, maybe, but for us. And yeah, all of the things that for the singers, that many of them, reconciled in their own minds and opened opened up to the experience and i think that's part of why every single person would have a different answer to your question yes of how were you changed yeah yeah so it it brought back you know i was um uh, i was brought up methodist uh, my grandmother turned away from the church after my mom passed at an early age and after i came out and she couldn't reconcile that with a god that would tell her you know that her grandson being gay was wrong and taking her daughter away from her at the age of 49 so i think that there are a lot of us you know that are gay that struggle with the church for whatever reasons and i think that this is really lovely in that it offers the opportunity for people to explain themselves that are in the church but also for you guys to tell your stories and why you're out there and it's just just really awesome so now is this will this be in contention for like i don't want to you know no, no, um, no, that's good. david we already we already been down that path. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Um, well, look. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the film opened at Tribeca and it won um, the audience award for best documentary at Tribeca. Yeah. And then it went went on to win another thirty seven, I think, um, awards of either best best documentary or audience award. Um, and you know, MTV acquired it with high hopes. Um, you know, and they did an amazing Academy run and campaign. Um, but sadly, um, you know, it, it just it just didn't. It just didn't stick with the Academy voters, um, nor did any other LGBTQ film. You know, um, in, in the in the awards race, we were in the awards race of 2019. Um, there were in, in the main awards, there were zero LGBTQ films that were even nominated or shortlisted. Um, I don't really know why or how. Um, so it was a big disappointment. But in better news, um, earlier this year, Rotten Tomatoes. Um, put out a list of the top 100 best LGBTQ films of all time. And, yeah. um, you know, I think now we're at number 29 on that list. Um, I saw that. Yeah. Which is pretty amazing. Yeah, that is it, it amazing. means a lot to us. <laughs> yeah. Well, I want to go back to your question for me. Um, uh, about 30, almost 30 years ago now, I went to my pastor to come out to him. And I went to his office and, you know, I was ready to fight and to, you know, have a rebuttal scripture and this, that, and the other. And he's literally at his desk going like this. And he looked up to me and he said, okay, I'm not trying to have sex with you, so why are you telling me this? <laughs> and I was like, well, I, I, just wanted to, I just wanted you to know, yeah, he, he's like, Terrence, I don't care, neither does God. Anything else, I got to get this report out. And I was like, okay, bye. <laughs> So I, um, we, I live in um, California. I have the pastor I have. So my struggle has been, my, my struggle has been real in some um, aspects. But right there, I, I don't, you know, I, that's my report. <laughs> yeah. So what can people, how can people uh, promote the film or, or help out with whatever you guys are gonna do with the film. You know, what can people do to help out? This week, it's um, it's tell everybody you know. Even though you haven't seen the film, just yep. tell them out of curiosity. Just tell them, I mean, tell them that the Gay Men's Chorus and Patsy Cline appear together at a Baptist church. <laughs> I mean, you know, just tease them. Uh, what you know, I have found, Steve, throughout my career, you can't tell people, oh, watch this film and make sure and have Kleenex, because it guarantees yeah, they won't right. cry. <laughs> you you predict that kind of thing. So I would say, I would just say, oh my gosh, these 300 gays and not, not all gays march across the Edmund Pettus Bridge. That alone is like they did what? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, just that's what I would tell my friends to, to watch. I mean, they're going to, all my friends will watch because they will be unfriended on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a, also a threat. Um, 
I just think that, you know, right now on a Sunday evening to spend an hour doing this, there's no holiday music in it. That's a, that's a plus. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> yeah, just take a break from, from the, um, can I say BS of the world? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Take a break from the BS. Yeah. I think, I think it's a film that, you know, um, for good or for bad, um, you know, it's needed much more now than the day we released it, you know, because of what the country is going through and, you know, very happy and hopeful for, you know, a Biden presidency, but, you know, we, we've gone back really far in the last four years and there's a lot of work to be done. And, and, and this film creates a blueprint and, and just kind of inspires you to, to start the next year, you know, with a lot of, a lot of pride and a lot of confidence and, 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 and just a way forward in how to, how to be with people who have opposite views of you, you know, and, and, and to challenge, you know, to, I mean, invite those people in your family and in, in your friend circle to, to watch the film, you know, give it, give it 10, 15 minutes and see, and see, you know, what, what it, what it gives to you because we are not, you know, I think the thing that the film does is that it doesn't point fingers at anyone, you know, it really just opens up a conversation and, and it shows all sides and it, and it kind of demystifies the South. And, and, and it breaks down those, those cliches yeah. and those barriers in a way that um, at least from our response from people in the South seeing it um, has never really been done before in the way that we're doing it. And, and on top of that, you know, like I, I like to say that um, there, was a, there was a pivotal moment last year during the festival run where on one Sunday it played for 2,000 people in Greenville, South Carolina um, at a screening organized by the Baptist church there. And then the following Sunday, it premiered at the Castro theater in San Francisco for 1600, most likely non-Christians in the audience there. And, and, and the film really plays well for those, for both sides of the aisle. So yes. maybe it can, maybe it can be the bridge that we need yeah. for, for our moment right now. Steve, there's a, uh, I, I, I was dying when I first saw the film because I didn't get to see any of it. And um, uh, you can just tell people that, you know, this, crazy man was about to rehearse amazing grace with his choir and said now don't fuck it up <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i love that well it's and, been and, said and, about amazing grace <laughs> well and, ju and just to, and just to see valerie who's the amazing singer of the oakland choir sing that song that she sings in the film is is literally worth the entire film oh. you know it's just the most beautiful transcendent moment yeah. David, i like when you say um when you said um it's about, it's not about, it's about people. You said something about- Not a concert tour. It's not a concert yeah. tour, it's about people. Yeah, it's yeah. not a film about a chorus, it's not a film about a tour, it's a film about people meeting other people and seeing what happens from that. Yeah, I think it's about hope and healing. When I was watching it, it, you know, it brought back some memories, like I was saying before, that I, that I teared up and remembered my family and my church and, and friends and then also you know recent events with our country and marches and black lives matter and you know all of these things that it could it really felt to me like it had already was bringing people together in those audiences that were in those churches oh yeah my sister drove uh to the last performance from athens georgia and ended up singing with the choir yeah. <laughs> Isn't it lovely? I mean, I'm just looking out at those audiences and people are tearing up and uh, it really touched them. It really Thank made you. a difference. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you for doing it. Thank you for the art. It was really lovely. I've already told about a dozen people. So, and I just finished Great. watching it about an hour and a half ago. So <laughs> just, just so amazing. If half of those show up, we'll have six. I know. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's a start. <laughs> Uh, gentlemen, thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate your time. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much.